I've been on YouTube for three years and I realized that over the years my interest in what videos I make have shifted dramatically. I feel like as a creator, I want to keep challenging myself and making better projects, you know, better art. I've always had a passion for this and having a platform to share what I do makes it extremely convenient to share literally every idea. But what happens when you run out of ideas? Yep, I ran out of ideas. Lately, I've been putting out a lot of videos, you know, trying to stay consistent and everything. But in the mix of that, I've actually been running out of ideas. I mean, there's only so many things that I can do, especially with the same type of content. I'm pretty sure y'all are getting tired of seeing me live in my hotel room day by day. So I had to mix it up a bit. It's not like a lot of people are flocking by the boatload to collaborate with me. So I still want to continue to create content and improve my craft so that in hopes I can inspire other people that are in my position to continue going the same way other creators, bigger creators, have inspired me. So yeah. Since I ran out of video ideas and the thought of niching down disgusts me, I decided I would just write a song and shoot a music video for it. Simple as that. For everybody that I hurt this year, you deserve it. Quick fucking play it with me. Let's go! Power up! Not that many people are flocking to collaborate with me, so I decided to take one of the many things hidden in my archive and make it into a music video. The song One Up was <laughs> definitely inspired by the first single that I made, and it was kind of like a response to a threat that my baby father made after I made the song Super 8. Yo, word salad on the beat. I wish my baby daddy wasn't a dead beat. And for the record, I did write, produce, and perform this entire song and probably 90% of the songs that I've made so far in my car on GarageBand. That definitely includes the song Super 8. Wolf is in the parking lot at Super 8. Yup. Chose violence today. There's so much shit I have to say. I sleep well with my grudges anyways. Saturday. So it's a whole nother week from when I originally started shooting this video. So work has really been kicking my ass. So... Yeah, work's been kicking my ass, but today I'm going to start finishing filming this shit because we got to, I got to do this. I got to do this because we got to stay consistent. But yeah, I'm going to run to Scooters, get some coffee, maybe a matcha. Not sure how I'm feeling yet. Get a coffee and a waffle sandwich. I'll be back. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Do y'all see this? This is a coffee gasm. Fuck Starbucks. This turtle latte is it. So for me, planning is probably one of the most important parts of this process other than the actual shooting. 
because I want to make sure one, my video is consistent as far as like shots and how I'm able to edit them Two, I want this process to be fairly organized so that my workflow is quick and easy. So yeah. So I'm going to take you into the planning process of how I want to lay out this video. So what I did as far as planning goes, I decided to create a shot list. And if you guys kind of need a template on how you do a shot list, I will leave a shot list template below. And basically what a shot list is, is that it basically gives you a list of things that you want to do in order to film the video. It kind of gives you more organization in your filming process. Um, basically, you know, what type of shots you want to do, is there any movement, what equipment you're using, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I will leave a link to a shot list template below. And basically what this does is it helps me organize how I want to film my shots. That way I can film them as quickly as possible and get them into Premiere Pro for the editing process. A few moments later. Now that we have a shot list, you know, we're organized and everything, it is time for me to film. And two problems. I don't know if I'm in the mood to film and I don't know if I kind of like the lighting, but I'm going to see how I feel in like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so I guess I'm going to film because it's already around six o'clock. It's golden hour and I kind of want to get that good sunset lighting. So we're going to shoot this. So this is golden hour. This is what I was exactly looking for. This is the type of lighting that I kind of want to shoot in. So yeah, we're going to see how this goes. And I had to put some shoes on my feet. Yeah, so I'm going to get set up and then yeah. I really don't feel like I got enough footage for this video only because I was losing sunlight very quickly and the fact that I had to record this all by myself that means setup for the slider was very time consuming so we will see how this turns out so we are now in the editing process what I'm gonna do now is take the memory card out of this camera and then we're gonna go over the footage and see how good or how bad it is and yeah, hopefully I can work with it. Went through the footage and I managed to get some really good shots, which is great because it's raining today and I wouldn't be able to reshoot if I wanted to. So as you know, editing is a long and arduous process. So I'm going to edit the footage and yeah, here's the finished product. Everybody that I hurt this year, you deserve it. Quick fucking play it with me. Let's go. Power up. There goes my ego. I'm on my one-up shit, so I can't see you. Hate it when I'm in the booth, then I wonder why. Cause that's when I go to telling truth and exposing lies. I'm one up, you talking shit and throwing hate. I get it, bro. You're still mad about Super 8. Word salad on the beat. I wish my baby daddy wasn't a dead beat. I Everyone else thinks the song's got some heat. But 
I'm sure you're still mad that I called you a deadbeat. He says I'm making enemies and you're looking out for me. This nigga thinks he's the fucking mafia. Bitch, please. All because I told the truth about you and your mama. Hope y'all remember who started this drama. Out of sight, out of mind and context. Said you've been trying to reach me. Didn't get the text. My actions have been against my better wisdom. But you ain't gon' say no crazy shit to me and then act like a victim. Not aiming high, I choose violence today. Fucking tired of being the better person. Today I'm gonna retaliate. I'm a tiger. You're spreading nudes of me is a good distraction. Well, out of me, there will be no reactions. I got that one up, like I said. Yeah. Hating on me, you better put that shit to bed. Uh-huh. Out of Florida. Either get some fucking money or tuck yourself in the bed. 1990. Ah, spaghetti. Ah, ravioli. Ah, mamma mia. All right. That was the finished product. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this creative process with me. This is kind of what I have to do in order to like create a full project like this. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, I'll check you guys out on the next video.